Just make sure we're actually going to the right channel here. And... Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta figure out how Nightbot works. Nightbot? Yeah, Nightbot, man. Guys, welcome. This is Bronze Boot Camp here. It is a very special edition for Valentine's Day. Not that we're really doing anything special, but you know, I mean, it's on a special day. So I am Haberdashing. I'm joined by Seagrove again this week. Uh, we are here to play uh, games with you. Comment uh, so you can go back, watch the VODs, and improve on your own gameplay here. <clears throat> Definitely. And we're doing this as a part of the Trinity Force Podcast Network, uh, which... It's just expanded and now does some Warcraft rating, um, if you're interested in that. But they also have three podcasts, uh, main podcasts right now. They have... Fourth um, on the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they have the proper, which is where they're talking about patches and uh, champions and um, stuff like that. Like Sometimes they've had Ghost Crawler on there talking about balance and stuff. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, definitely a good way to learn the game. And then they have the LCS rundown, which just is what it sounds like. It just talks about what's going on in the LCS, and they have the Oz LOL podcast, which keeps you updated on the um, Australian scene. And then, Harry, are you going to talk about the new one that's coming up? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, guys, we're going to be releasing a new podcast. It's going to be called Four Wards Podcast. It is going to be for everyone, you know, uh, if you're new, if you're not new, um, it's coming out of the old Journey to 30 podcast. What we want to do is make like an intro to the 24 proper podcast so it's going to cover a lot of the basic stuff as well as you know very specific detailed things um yeah we're just in the final stages here to get that out so look for it later this month yeah and um going into picks and bans here we have blue side banning by ari and rex side which are just power picks right now mm-hmm and then the right side banning Azir, Janna, and Cassiopeia. Um, uh, I'm fine I'm with everything. I don't know too much about the Azir ban anymore. Just because of how hard he was hit in this latest patch. Yeah. You know, if you're still... I'm going to say if you're actually good at Azir and you can actually play him at this level, go ahead and do it just because of how strong he is when you actually know how to play him. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I doubt you would see really anyone playing Azir too much, to be honest. No, and playing him well, you yeah. know, is another thing altogether. I think we did have a good cast player last week, so maybe that's mm -hmm. why that got banned. And Jan is strong. Yeah, I think I'm trying to remember when they're playing in the LCS. That's before they changed the mana costs for Cassiopeia, so that's why she's still being picked as much as she is. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the latest set of mana costs really hurt a lot. Uh, but let's talk about some picks here going on. Blue team picking up uh, Lissandra. That's a really good first pick because of its ability to go top or mid. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's good against Katarina too. Yeah. Not like amazing because you don't necessarily want to hold your ult for hers. But... It can be used that way if she comes in, especially if she comes in too early. Yeah, I mean, it's a good way to just instantly shut her down, root her in place. Um, yeah, because, you know, everyone knows Katarina can just be such a menace in team fights if one person gets low, you know. So besides yeah. that, they're picking up Zerath and Morgana. So it looks like it will be probably that top lane Lissandra that we normally see. Yeah. I think so. There's a lot of AP. <laughs> there is a lot of AP so far. We'll There's see. also a lot of utility there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see where else they go. Purple team, on the other hand, they have Katarina, Leona, uh, Lee Sin, and looking like it's going to be a Varus. It's a really strong like, eight, like, setup for Katarina with the Varus's AoE root and obviously Leona's AoE stun. Mm -hmm. um, Lee Sin can initiate a fight if you can get in the back line and kick Kaylin forward or someone, but that can be cancelled pretty readily by Morgana's 
black shield, and if Lee's going alone, they have no way of popping it because Lee is doing physical damage, so it's not going to pop it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So final picks coming in for blue team going to be looking like anyways, um, Wukong and Caitlyn. Um, as far as an eighty carry pick here, it's. I mean, it, it works. It, it, when you know they already have Varus, um, I don't know, it kind of gives you an opportunity to say, hey, I'm going to play a really aggressive AD carry, you know, to counteract uh, Varus's innate uh, lack of mobility. But what you're doing, like when you say you have Caitlyn, is to say, okay, I just want to shove the lane just as much as Varus is. Yeah, Varus is actually a counter to Caitlyn, so. Yeah, like, not like a counter counter but like it's just one of those 80 carries that can actually stand up to the amount of like pushing Caitlyn can do right and he can poke her from further than she can poke him with his charged Q yeah and his range is good too 575 so. but right. so she's still I mean he's still 75 units less than Caitlyn for auto right. attacks but that's good compared to everyone else <laughs> yeah it is um. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the Caitlyn pick into that, but they do. It does kind of round out their their comp. Is kind of weird. You're like, um, if they had actually, I guess it's I, fairly balanced. Yeah, they have two pokers. Um, which it looks like they're just having a poke comp, and then they have Lissandra, who's got pretty good disengage and then Wukong who's got good re-engage so it actually makes a lot of sense um mm -hmm. yeah I mean it's bad yeah. like they can siege a tower fairly well they can also initiate a fight pretty well um yeah the biggest trouble they're gonna have is actually I don't know they overall they they're they have a pretty good comp they do I like that yeah uh not to, not to take any anything away from purple team like their comp if they are able to engage first with like a leona ult into uh varus it, they'll be able to clean up pretty well yeah they have a but purple has a good or blue has a good comp anti-nasus comp i think like uh morgana can peel him really hard mm -hmm. and then obviously lissandra can yeah i mean they don't well. Like they're gonna do fine shutting down Nasus and Lane. They should anyways with the Lissandra top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just cause you know she's gonna be able to uh, shove Nasus into tower early and get a good amount of poke down on him. And if she's able to do that uh, throughout the laning phase, it can definitely hurt Nasus is scaling into late game. All right. But I, it all depends on also how well like that Nasus is used to um, using his Q under tower to try to get farm yeah. for it. Definitely. Nasus is just that. The thing with Nasus, we talked about this, we talked about this before, like mm -hmm. Nasus scales obviously off of, you know, kills okay and CS okay, but really what he scales off of is his Q farm. Yeah. So even if he's getting CS, if, that's why you want to shove against Nasus because if you keep him under his tower, his Q doesn't come up quickly enough, especially early, to last hit with it while the tower is killing them, killing the minions. So instead of like you know four to six Q last hits, he's only getting like two if you shove him early to his tower mm -hmm. from a wave. So yeah, that's like a normal strategy against yeah. him. So, I mean, if I'm uh, that Lee Sin for their team, I would just be trying to camp mid lane. Like, it's the lane that it's going to benefit most from getting a kill. Mm -hmm. Or repeated kills, and especially with a Zerath who's not very mobile. And you look at top lane, Lissandra can get out of a gank pretty easily, and so can bot lane. Right. But that mid lane Zerath is pretty squishy and pretty vulnerable. And if you're able to get that cat rolling... You know, even if the rest of your lanes do, like, go even or a little bit behind, uh, a fed Katarina can really make up for it. Yeah. And one thing against, uh, 
I mean, looking at these comps. They're both pretty heavy. Like, neither neither one is too heavy AP, but both of them are pretty heavy AP. Like Yeah. Um, the blue team has two. Their solo laners are both magic damage. And then red team has Leona. I mean, she's doing some magic. And then, obviously, you have Katarina. And then Nasus does a little bit through his ult. I think mm-hmm. his E. Yeah. Varus actually does a decent amount as well of AP. Like his uh, if W. He's, if he's getting his, yeah, procs off. His W, his ult. I think he. No, not his E. No. Just his W and ult. Mm-hmm. But so, he still does a decent amount. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a look at skins here, we have Battlecast Zareth, Blackthorn Morgana, Underworld Wukong. Against Warring Kingdoms, Katarina, Iron Solari, Leona, Arctic Ops, Varus, Infernal Nasus, and Pool Party, Lee Sin. <laughs> they got the five, man. Yeah. It's really hard to three versus five unless you're really it dead. Is. So. It is. It takes a lot of work. I mean, Caitlyn's really going to have to make up for that lack of skin in lane. Uh, yeah. And Lissandra, sh- sh- she should do okay in lane even without the skin, but I c- can't help but feel like she would be doing better if she had, um, especially the uh, blade, wh- whatever it was. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Queen it, of blades. Queen of <laughs> what, whatever it is to um, really stick it to the infernal Susan. Yeah. I haven't seen the uh, Warring Kingdoms Katarina skin yet. And it, it in game it looks just as generic as the rest of her skins. You yeah. know, she just turns into boobs with swords. Blade Queen Lis- Blade Sandra. Queen Lissandra. Did you play StarCraft at all? No. Uh, the main bad guy in StarCraft, well, she ends up not being all Well, anyways. Um <laughs> she's like kind of bad, kind of good. Her thing is her name is Queen of Blades. Okay. So so does it have like any tie-in, or just uh, coincidence? I'm sure it's. I'm sure Riot knows that when they made this. Because there's like three or four other blade skins. Like there's a Morgana one. There's an Oriana one. What's Morgana's? Uh, it's it's something Blade Morgana. Mm. I swear. Well, the, the Queen of Blades is her name. So yeah. Blade Queen Lissandra is definitely. They were definitely thinking of it when they did that. Um. Anyways, so I'm just waiting on Lee Sin. He's trying to find. Yeah, it's taking forever. Can't see, so it's not really his fault. Blade Mistress Morgana, and uh, I think it's Blade Craft Oriana. Yeah, but Queen Blade Queen is yeah. different. Reference to Queen of Blades. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. So let's, let's see these matchups. Yes. Yeah, so top lane here. Uh, Lissandra versus Nasus. I'm still... I think this is going to really favor Lissandra with the ranged uh, attacks along with her Q poke. And this would definitely be a lane, I think, to get an early Morella Namakon. You know, even if you weren't doing it already... Uh, which in most lanes you would with Lissandra, yeah. this is definitely one you want it. Yeah, Lissandra's. That's gonna because he's definitely gonna be getting his um, spear of Sage early. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, gonna increase his healing. So it's also a reason why you don't want to rush. Um, uh, what do you call it? The um, Leandres. Oh yeah, like I, I I don't think you should rush it anyways. But in case you were thinking of doing it, there's another reason why not to do it. Yeah, but like, um, is there any uh, way, like anything that the Nasus can do to really kind of succeed in this lane? Yeah. Besides, <laughs> just farm. Yeah, <laughs> that's your goal. Just farm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I mean, like your Nasus. You know, you're not. You're not gonna. You're not. If you get kills and win the lane like that or be pre like nine she's doing something really wrong mm-hmm. uh, in fact if if you kill Alessandra as Nasus 
she's really screwing up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, it's going to be your job just, you know, farm under tower as much as you can. Uh, cause with any luck, your jungler is not going to be paying much attention to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, we yes. want to talk about starting the lanes. Oh, Tesla. All right, we got he said 7,842 ping. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> I've had 19,000 ping before. That was bad. <laughs> oh, we're back already. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I didn't see if no cap signed up today. I don't care. <laughs> well, he's the one who's been disconnecting. I know. I'm saying he's not playing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of putting a temporary ban on that guy for a little bit. Nothing against him, just... His computer. His computer. <laughs> so, um, looking at where people are lined up right now, um, I would... <sighs> I, I never really see it. I, as a mid laner, you're you, you don't have to do anything in the jungle anymore. You're you are supposed to be in mid lane, like this cat arena is. I mean, cat should be forward anyways, just to give a better vision. Um, in case you know, like their mid laner isn't there, or um, it looks like they're planning an invade, you can kind of see from the brushes. He's greater than the sum of its um. I want to see. I'm gonna watch Wukong for the beginning of this match. Yeah, if I'm okay. if I'm, if I'm Zerath, I'm out of here already. Yeah, no, I'm already in lane farming. You don't need to be there. Cause Cat getting level two is big. Yeah, Zerath is sticking around way too long. Yeah, did he leech? What is he doing? He's, did he leech know. experience from that? No, I don't think so. No, he didn't. Oh, Wukong! What is he? No, 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 no. Okay, this is why I wanted to watch. Wukong, take W second. Why is he staying so long there? I don't know, but Wukong's gonna die because he didn't take W second. Oh, he lived. Okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe Wukong said he needed help because he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. As Wukong, you take W second so that your W will tank the... You just E in, auto, and then W and back up a little bit and then go at it. And you're... Uh, w will tank them thing for a long time, and you can get another camp instead of having backing after your second and asking mid to help you. Oof! Ooh, that was that hurts. close. Lucian already picking up that uh, vision token. Yeah. Spell uh, nice of him. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Alright, so they just hit level 2 back here. Like, as Morgana and Caitlyn, you have a, you have a real advantage over their lane at level 1. So you want to be trying to pressure them as much as possible before they hit level 2. Because as soon as Leona hits that level 2, she can be a l really aggressive. Whereas, you know, that level 1, she's kind of just sitting back, just waiting. A summoner has reconnected. Yeah. So it looks like top lane's going exactly like we thought it would at this point. Except Nessus has more farm than Lissandra. <laughs> yeah. But it, you know, definitely being shoved in. Um, All right. And part of that's just getting used to uh, last hitting with Lissandra. Like, or, or any AP champion in the top lane. Because you have to balance, you know, uh, when to use your skills. So you're not like getting the minions low enough that the rest of the minions finish them off. So sometimes you want to, you know, get an auto attack or two down first before you use your skills, so that way your skill will finish off the minions. Yeah. And Lissandra is um putting a lot of damage on him. And anytime you have that spell up, that free spell up, you want to be using it, Liss. Mm -hmm. You want to use that spell Ooh. to harass him. You have a free one. Well, now she's lower than he is. There you go. Yeah, it took. One too many tower shots. Yeah, one is too many. <laughs> Didn't she just take one, or was it two? I don't, it, it, it looked like it was two. She took a lot of damage. Q 
Okay, we got Lee Sin coming in here. Now she sees him, she should be eating away. Just E, you don't need to do that. You need to mm -hmm. flash. If you, if you need to flash, you can do it after. Just get a full range E and you'll be fine. Oh yeah, Morg, Morg, you need to go. You need to go back. This one, if, if you're Sorry. out of potions at this point and one Varus Q can kill you, you need to go back. There's no point of, like, if you were to die to that Varus Q, you'd given up a huge advantage for literally nothing. Like, there's nothing that they can get back in return. Lissandra went back into lane after that gank, which is... Risky, but okay, except that she didn't even wait for E okay. to come back up. Wukong's so. coming in, bot. Oh, missed the binding. They were too low to really support that. Anyways. Yeah. Just because, yeah, how far Morgana was back when Wukong was coming in. Like, it didn't even matter if, like, they landed a binding, because they couldn't have caught up to the time, in the time that it would have taken for the binding to wear off. And, and Morgana was too low to risk going mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Whew. That wasn't... I think someone's been watching Afro move. Shooting that through the wall like that. Yeah. It's a good, good way to do it. Yeah. And, but you gotta hit him. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I was saying earlier, like, don't go back into lane as Liss when you just flashed and you know the jungler could be around. Um, mm -hmm. If you really want to, like... You apparently did, and that's okay, I guess. Um, but I wouldn't. But it's up to you. But um, wait until your claws back up at least. Don't go back in with like five seconds left on your claw, because if Lee had just stayed around, he could have killed you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lee coming in. Oh, we can't coming in again. Bot while Lee goes mid. I'll watch bot. Okay, I'll go on mid. Okay, right, nothing happened. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you can't flash that wall. Oh. That was really sloppy that in was. mid lane. Like, I. You guys waited so long to burn your stuff because Cat didn't burn her all till she was already under tower. I mean, if you're able to get off as much damage before then as possible, then you can decide, you know, okay, can we go under the tower for that kill? Hey. Uh, okay, looks like Katarina is going to be going the gunblade route. Yeah. It's... Wukong. Yeah, it's fine. Wukong, use your W to tank the minions. He's like Wing into the camp. Hmm. It's just a waste of the W. Like, you okay. could take that camp if you use your W. Oh, Lissandra. No, this is not like the lane you want to go Rod of Ages. Like, Rod of Ages is good uh, when you want a later power spike. And, like, you need someone a little bit tankier. But in this case... You just want to go more for damage, because your main role is to get Katarina out of the fight. Mm -hmm. But you want to keep up pressure right now, because he hasn't gone back and you haven't, so you have a very big advantage mm -hmm. sustained over him. He's used um, all of his flasks, so you want to you want to keep pressuring here. Okay, he's trying to go back. Yeah, I would just keep shoving it in. This is what you want. And then while he's under his turret farming, you can poke him and he's going to miss a bunch of Q farm. And farm in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so Katarina, since he did go that, um, you're going that gunblade route, you can be more aggressive in lane. You know, you can take a little bit of poke because you're going to heal it back. Uh, so go. yeah, don't be afraid to go in there for like a quick engage. Oh, binding does land. Okay. Um, Tesla's DC. Again. 
A summoner has disconnected. Yeah. He was just sitting that blue for like 30 seconds. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's no good. A summoner has reconnected. <laughs> All right, at least that's really short. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, happening frequently. Um. Yeah. Okay, so. Tesla went back and uh, first upgraded Boots and Mobility. Um, That's fine. The teleport coming in kind of late. Like, the way I think about teleport is you need to use it before you need to use it. Because if you use it when you need to use it, you use it too late. Just because people, you need to take into the the channel time into account. Yeah. See, you can't be teleporting when you first think that oh, I should teleport now. Yeah, to, uh, like, it's kind of taking a gamble. Like, you think okay, the situation could arise that I would teleport here in the next three to four seconds. So you have to say oh, I'll teleport now. Yeah. Or if they're like too far up and you can teleport them behind them. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Nasus does, is going straight for that, uh, yep. spirit message. Oh, this. Oh, this. I guess she just didn't want it to be seen that Ooh. she. Okay. <laughs> he just, she just did nothing. Yeah, I and mean, part of she is going like the Rod of Ages route, so she has she no. Doesn't have any AP yet. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like even if she did, there's no way that was gonna kill. No. Kill him. She's gonna go clear that ward, but I wouldn't buy a pink and put it there. I mean, no. You don't have control over the lane. Yeah, I mean, you could have easily just put it in try, and it would have lasted a lot longer. Yeah, and Nasus is now at that point where he can kill you. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can't because you're, well, if you keep throwing out your claw like that, maybe he can, but, um, he can't because you're, you can jump away, but, mm -hmm. yeah. I want to fight. Yeah. Caitlyn, you should have seen him coming through lane. I mean, coming through the jungle. Just, Eight. yeah, he just went right through tri brush. So, um, Caitlyn's build so far, double Dorans into Vampire Acceptor. If you're getting that second Dorans, you don't need to get Vampire Vampire Acceptor. Like, I understand the reason you want it is to try to sustain in lane, you think you got a lot of poke. But because you're going that double, um, Dorans blade, you already have 6% lifesteal. That's more than enough that you need to try to sustain in lane. And then you can spend the rest of that gold going for more straight damage, like a pickaxe, for roughly the same amount of gold. Double Dorans was invented. Double Dorans Vampiric was invented by. I forget who it was. It was somewhere in Korea. Um, but it's for like maximum sustain, and I don't. It's in the lane where you need. Anymore, yeah. Right I can't really imagine a lane where you really need that. Like if you're taking that much poke in a lane, you need to do better about avoiding taking the damage, versus just trying to sustain through it. It's for a, I'd say it's for a lane if you're like dominating. It's like a imitation of an early bloodthirster. Mm -hmm. I think it's Summoner obviously much smaller. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so Nasus is still 30 CS up. And that's just due to Tim being able to, to actually last hit. So, I mean, if you're Johnny... really well, holy cow. Yeah. Like 100 John, by 13, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, Johnny, if you're used to more playing, like, AD champions, take a second, go into some custom games, practice with AP champions. Because it really is different. Yeah. It really is. Just because so much of your damage is based upon uh, spells instead of auto attacks, you need to, you know, time when you're going to use your spells. Because, like, each champion has a different rotation of how to clear minion waves. 
Because like Lissandra, once you get your first damage item, you can Q, uh, W to normally clear most of the waves. And you need to time it out, you know, if you, if there's a little bit of damage left, auto attack before, like you were saying. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm really impressed by Nessus' farm, though. Yeah, he's doing well. It's really high. He has no mana, though, now. Yeah. He does have his TP. I would just go and TP back for the mana. <laughs> Although, you might want to save it for Dragon, but mm -hmm. you might want to just be greedy like me. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that you're able to get your stacks here, but it helps when you're able to use them for your team. And you yeah. can't be just that Susan that sits in top lane the whole time. <sighs> That's me. Yeah. It's so tempting, because it's just so relaxing to just sit there and farm relaxing. your Q. It's therapeutic. Yeah, but it's aggravating for the rest of your team when you're not doing anything to help. Yeah. So I get, we get the towers too. I think it's global gold. Mm -hmm. And eventually, like, that's a really important thing as Nasus is like knowing when to join your team. Mm -hmm. And your team is going to complain too early that you need to be with them. No matter what, I think, when you're in Nasus. Well, yeah. not no matter what, but Probably. usually. But you have to decide, like, are they right? Nasus will usually join too late, and his team will usually ask him to come too early. That was a nice little combo there. Uh, it didn't end up getting the kill off of it, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... Bot lane's kind of locked up for Varus at this point. Just because of how far down in items Caitlyn is. Yeah. And she's only sitting on... Uh, 1100 gold. And because you invested so much into just that life, life steal, you're putting your actual like damage items so far behind. NASA's back up. And recall, don't recall right there. Oof. Wow, they just got a lot out of that. Mm hmm. Did that hit? Mm-hmm. Just didn't quite kill her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So in this lane, I would consider as Varus going, um... Like, I edge into Brutalizer. Like, not, not I edge into Brutalizer. Like, what you have so far and then just build Brutalizer. Just for, um, as much damage on your Qs as possible. Since laning phase is kind of uh, going on longer right now, it is a pretty long. I mean, I was going like to say you know possibly getting Essence Reaver, but I think laning's I, over. Yeah. I mean, now they could they could potentially go mid and take mid turret. Mm -hmm. It looks like that. Oh uh, no, Varsh is going back. But if the lane is still pushed bot, you should go mid. Uh, it probably won't yeah. be. Even if it is, I, it doesn't matter too much. They can still do more good. Nice. In mid, then bottom. Okay. But you don't want to lose your tower either. I mean, it's, it is a trade-off. You know, on one hand, you lose your tower, but they need to be... Like, then other laners have to be down there to take your tower. So in that time, if you're able to force something in mid, get a couple kills, get the mid tower, I'd say that's definitely worth it. Yeah, mid tower gives you a lot of pressure. Like, yeah. you can take it down, you can shove even further and then grab dragon or whatever. Yeah, and like, in certain respects, you're losing your tower, but in others, you're baiting them to take your tower. But they're not doing anything with it. They're just losing. No, it. like if, if if you're losing, you need to be doing something with it. They're gonna try to go back down to defend, but you know it's already dead. So blue yeah. team ends up just getting it for free. Yeah, the bars bars should have just gone bot straight away once he came back. Lee Sun wasn't gonna stay around after fighting Wukong. Mm. 
and then maybe maybe even uh, Leona could have gone down with them. They could have shoved it out, shoved out two waves, and then got rotated mid while when Lee came back. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I like that. Um, Nasus is going and getting the Sheen now. Um, yeah, because Caitlyn is a non-factor in these fights, and Wukong is probably the biggest threat for uh, uh, AD damage. And he's not that big. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Ant at this point, does he just build Trinity Force, or I would... I don't know, like, this game... Is it worth it to go for more armor, or would you consider, like, maybe Warmogs now? I would like to see him get... Yeah, I'd say he needs to get the sheen, then go. He needs to get boots, um, mm -hmm. and then I think Frozen Heart would be good against. Oh, he's got Varus on his team. Yeah. Yeah, he should go help. Warmogs would work, I think. Um, maybe Randuins if he wanted that, but he doesn't really need it. Well, this is gonna be a massacre. Yeah. They're just leaving Var- I mean, there they are. Blue, you need to realize that's going to be a massacre before it happens and just avoid it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, you do have a good amount of disengage on your team to get away from those situations. Yeah, and don't meet them in the middle of the field. Make them dive you if they want that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I mean overall this grouping is five for blue team is not gonna work out They need to just try to split up Cause they just got out farmed so hard. They, they really did in Even every mid lane Min lane's the worst. Yeah, how, how I, I don't know how that happened that she Katarina has double the farm of Zara. I mean even from like Remember he he like followed Wukong yeah, for that. so long. Mm -hmm. By the time he got to lane, she had like ten CS, mm -hmm. and then it was like she just stayed double him like the whole game pretty much. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think mean, like, a big part of the goal difference is it just coming from CS. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah, we say it, and if you need help, like we'll. Come into games with you to show you how to do um, last hitting, but it, it, it is a big part of the game. And you know, even just going into a custom game two or three times a day for ten minutes, just yeah. to practice on a specific champion, really does help. I do a lot of coaching, but I'll co if, I, if I'm coaching a AD carry or a solo laner, mm -hmm. I'll give them one session, and I tell them I won't give you another session until you go to a custom game and get. 90 or more in three games in a row by 10 minutes mm -hmm. because until you can really last hit that well once you can last hit like consistently and, and you're not going to get that in the game um, yeah but you'll start hitting you'll get a lot more in a game once yeah. you can do that I mean, and once once you're doing that you're going to get out of bronze yeah like, what you can get you out of bronze what you can do in custom games is like go progressions uh, like, you know, you start, you go in, you don't do any items or any runes, then you go put in runes, then you go runes plus items, then you go runes plus items uh, against a uh, enemy a bot in lane. Or someone else is doing the same or thing. Or someone else, yeah. You just don't poke. Yeah. And then you can go to, okay, let's integrate poke in there. And okay. and as soon as like you're able to keep consistent CS across all those levels... You yeah that you will get out of bronze. Yeah, farming alone, like farming. I've always been of the opinion that farming gets you out of bronze by itself, and then to get out of silver, um, for me it took controlling uh, attitudes, both mine and my and my teammates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Yeah, Crazy Phil in chat brings up a good point. Uh, blue team, oh. Boy, Lissandra. That was bold. Yeah, you, you can't kill him at this point. You just can't. But what you can do and what your team can do is um, 
just stay at a turret because you can you have a lot of wave, wave clear. clear and it's going to be really hard for them to siege because they have a um, melee mid laner a melee jungler a melee top laner they only have one range on their team it's really hard for them to try to siege so you can try yeah. to wait there build up a lead again um but the thing is late game they're better <laughs> they are red's better it's so. not because they have Nasus and Katarina and Varus is better than Kate. Excuse me. Late. I don't think either one's. I think Caitlyn's slightly better late game. Than Varus? Just because she does have the auto attack modifier. Yeah. As far as like total damage output, Varus probably would have better. But he has his ult. Yeah. And like Caitlyn's not useless late game because she does have that no, she's not. headshot. No auto attacking AD carries. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, if you are picking Caitlyn, you're picking to win the lane phase, right? Which didn't happen in this case. Yeah, this game is is just waiting to end. Mm -hmm. Or are they not gonna kill her? Oh uh, yeah, they do it. Yeah, but I mean, Caitlyn has been finished. making a good fight here. Uh huh. This is. I think uh, Tesla was disconnecting. Uh, but. Yeah, Caitlyn's just kind of all over the place right now. Like, this is one of the games where you get BF Sword, then you get a Zeal. Ooh. Just because you need something cheap. Yeah. And I think in the latest episode, I was it Punch that was talking about his builds as an AD carry? I missed it. Like, he was just saying why he went um, BF Sword into Zeal. And I haven't gone through the actual item efficiency of it well, to see if he was right or not. By like you saying, you know, for the gold that it takes to get I'm your sure. IE, you can get the same like BF sword plus uh, the zeal, and oh. for overall damage, and like, it costs less. Actually. It it costs two hundred less. No, it costs a lot more. Than that. That. No, yeah, I'm thinking. It's yeah, eight seventy five. It's three. It's thirteen seventy five once you have the BF sword plus pickaxe, but it's twenty two fifty. Oh, Katarina, come on. She was hoping for the big reset. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but well, Blue's making a little comeback here. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I still don't expect him to win by any means, but. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. That's weird. That was weird. Because a that lot of weird. good plays in a bad way. A lot of flashy plays, anyways. I mean, he did the insect. He ki uh, he flashed over the Azera stun, but you know, in the end, was it really necessary? <laughs> you really need to do that because now you're down a flash. <laughs> it looked. I good. don't know. It did, so I'll give him credit for that. I can't play. I have no Lee Song mechanics. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have no what? Lee Song mechanics. Okay. Lee Song. All right. All right. <laughs> so, from Red's perspective here, I mean, they have a couple options. I mean, one is just, you know, farm up and get, keep this game going later and later. Because, you know, as these death timers get longer and they get stronger, they'll eventually win the game. They also have the option to um, try getting some picks off in their jungle, but they don't have enough wards at the moment to really do that. Yeah. But they can't keep just sieging up around the tower. Right. If I'm red, I'm doing what Katarina's doing right now. Clearing wards and setting up for dragon. You want to get a fight at dragon. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it ends up being disengaged. and They traded ultimate, so it's okay, but... Yep. Nasus is doing shouldn't. well. And, I mean... Blue team need to, needs to realize Lissandra can't do anything against Nasus at this point. 
Nancy just doesn't have the damage, and Nastus is too big. Yeah, the only thing she does have is Nastus is um no teleport. They got him. Yeah. All right. Now heal quickly and get straight to Dragon. I mean, if Red's really throwing this, yeah. I mean, it's not. It's but it's, Red should still win it even now. Mm -hmm. but if they do a couple more big mistakes, then they'll be losing. Yep. So uh, I want to take a minute to talk about trinket stuff because there were some changes to trinkets l recently, and you know besides uh, the uh, red trinket, which you know is still mandatory on at least two people per team, I think more people need to take a look at the upgraded yellow trinket. It's just so good right now. Just for like okay, efficiency, um, it is the best trinket. The yellow upgraded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because no, you get you get to hold two stacks. It's 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 a mini sightstone that regens itself for free. Yeah. It is insanely gold efficient, and insanely useful as the game goes later and later when people don't have the spaces for wards. Mm -hmm. Um, blue team had a ward on dragon, and they let it go. Mm-hmm. That was really bad. They had. I don't know if they didn't have timer on it, but they should have had an idea of when it was. And Nasus was dead. Like, that should not have happened. Yeah, they just, they had uh, the two still going back after killing Nasus, though. I don't think Wukong went back, which Did is he? part of the problem. Oh. Right away, I mean. If they had both come back and gone straight, they would have been there like five seconds after it spawned. Mm -hmm. Respawn. Yeah, like the thing I don't like about the upgraded far side orb, it's cool that it gives you a ward, but it's visible and dies in one hit. Well, that's what that is. Yeah. I've been wondering what this ward I kept seeing was. <laughs> I was like, I think this game is bugging because I didn't see their ward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the cooldown on it is in 90 seconds. Yeah. Now, Nasus is built, is playing well and building well. Mm hmm. I mean, I still think I would have liked to see like, something like a Warmog before finishing the uh, Trinity Force, but, you know, it, it's fine either way. Lissandra well, able to live top while her team goes off uh, in the middle, so there's that mistake. If I mean, again, a couple. Oh, here we go. <laughs> a couple mistakes. Oh, you didn't need flash. A couple mistakes is gonna be it. Um, but you know, NASA is just in Katarina here now. And blue team didn't go heal after the fight. Alas. Blue team, I mean, red team needs to start taking control of this game. Mm hmm. Yeah. They're, they're, letting, they're letting blue team come back. Yeah. I mean, they have the power to really start split pushing in side lanes to keep their lane shoved so that when an opportunity arises, um, they can rotate quicker and uh, they have an opportunity to pick someone from the blue team out when they're trying to rotate down to that lane. Yeah. It's at the towers that blue team is stronger. Anywhere else red team still has the advantage. Yeah. Red team is still ahead, but um, they need to force Baron. They need to force a fight. If they can force a 5 versus 5, they're going to win. Mm -hmm. Even if even the blue team has a better team fight comp overall. Well, I don't even know if that's true. If they get some poke on first. Their AD carry is just so far behind. Mm -hmm. And their mid laner, he looks oh Just teleport to the tower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it was a difference of 100 units, but you're wasting an extra uh what 60 seconds a minute i'm pretty sure yeah 
Okay, red fighting three on four, and it's not gonna matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still go one for zero there. Um, dragon up at a minute forty-five. Red needs to do dragon and then do baron. I really think that's what needs to happen. Like they need to either get these big objectives or like they've been getting dragon, but they need to do it with baron too. If they're not able to force a fight, they need to get baron. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay, red team looks like they're finally grouping here in the bot lane. Blue team has really good board coverage here, so they're going to know it, but they're going to, I guess, just back off and let red take it. If they're, if they're thinking, oh, Nessus going to tank. It's all right. Where are Leeston and Katarina? Why did that? I don't get it. If they just run down straight away they could have just taken the tower by brute force mm -hmm. with nasa's tanking it and then it wouldn't even have to have fought getting a fight eventually is a good thing but get the tower while it's free they're not forcing i don't know okay here's the thing blue team has better poke so, oh, too much. Let's. She went way too hard. Yeah, her. way <laughs> too hard. Kind of just baited her whole team into going out. Yeah, I think they're gonna make it back, but um, yeah, just kill the tower. Just kill it. Thank you. Um, blue team has better poke, so if, if red keeps delaying fights, wow. If red t team keeps delaying fights, that's where blue's getting their advantage. Red just needs to go in and force it as five immediately. Mm -hmm. Now go take dragon, go back, go take baron. Hard. And they they, yeah, they have plenty of time to get that turret. Um, you know, like, going into this game, I would have thought Wukong would have built more tanky. Yeah, he's not, um, he does, you, as Wukong, you really have to get, like, uh, armor pen, some, but after he got his warrior enchantment, he could have gone a lot more tank, and then just ended with, like, a frozen fist or something mm -hmm. for a little bit more damage but yeah he should be they need a tank they need a front line red team really just needs to this is like this is another thing i think i think this is i'm i really still i'm saying this and sticking with it learn to farm you'll get out of bronze yeah but then with silver you need to learn how to close games like mm-hmm and, and that obviously that can help with frogs too. Like, the games just aren't being closed. This game's just not being closed right now. And it doesn't help that... Uh, Tesla QC scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I agree. Like, they need to work more about, um, you know, looking to see what objectives are available and then planning how to do them. Because it, yeah. if they're going to keep trying to see the tower, especially when they're pushed to the inhibitor turrets, it's going to take them all day. Or they can just go take Baron now. In best case scenario, the blue team comes and they wipe him out and win the game. Worst case, they get Baron. Yeah. I guess worst case would be exactly. Baron gets been. stolen and they get aced. But <laughs> as far as the likely scenario is happening. Yeah. But the one thing is, blue does have a good poke comp, but they should be able to force a fight. But not, why just two? Like, why are only two of you there? Well, I guess Katarina's there too. That's good. Katarina, I mean, Caitlyn, that's very good. Just ult Katarina for no reason. I mean, not no reason, but just ult Katarina before a fight. That's really good. Like, she's going to heal it up here, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, if you guys are planning on fighting very soon, that's a good thing. Because you want her. Katarina low. Mm hmm.
They need Leona here if they're going to try to f do an engage. Okay. okay, finally she's coming up. Okay. There, there we go. you go. Just leaves in something. That's a good fight from Blue. Um, Cars really needs to be auto attacking, but mm -hmm. I'm just cleaning this up anyways. Yeah. I mean, at this point, when you get into team fights, you don't want to be using your Q as much. And use your Q, don't try to charge it up in team fights. Just use it to pop the stacks that you get from auto attacking. I mean, it actually does a lot of damage. If he's, if it's worth, it can be worth it if he hits like three or more targets. But yeah, but it's, it's kind of the same thing with the like the Caitlyn ultimate, you know, using that in a yeah. team fight. Yeah, it's like what you do once you're too low to be in auto attack. Yeah, because right? he's prioritizing his build for you know that uh, auto attack DPS, not for just uh, right. his cues. And red team, stay, 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 kill that. And now you can back off. Go heal, heal grab Baron, come win. This game should be over in two minutes or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have three inhibitors down. This game will be over. So, I mean, it's over. Do you want to just start talking now about stuff that kind of went wrong? Or right? Um. Sure, as long as nothing really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think bottom line biggest thing is that blue team just got out farmed. Yeah. In every single lane, they just got out farmed on, in places where they should not have. Yep. Lissandra should have been out farming Nasus. Zera should have been out farming Katarina by a good margin. Caitlyn Barris is pretty even. Yeah, that one, I mean, I can understand being even. But there's no reason why Caitlyn should be behind. Yeah. <laughs> that nasty Q. It doesn't really matter that Leona just wasted her ult, but don't waste your ult like that. We talked about using AoE ults on just one target. If, if you're doing that, it has to be a guaranteed kill onto a. Mm -hmm. Onto a priority target, and that wasn't a guaranteed kill because Wukong had flash, and Wukong's not. I guess you can consider Wukong a priority target because of his ultimate, but. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, farming was the biggest thing. Um, we talked about Lissandra's bill, which probably honestly had a bit to do. She didn't get terribly out farmed. I mean, she ended up with more, but mm -hmm. in lane, she didn't get terribly out farmed. But um, part of the reason Nasus was able to farm that well is because she wasn't able to put out as much pressure because yeah. she was going the Roa route. That's a good point. That's something I wouldn't have thought of. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, so that's game one here. We're going to get game two started up in just a few minutes. Uh, don't worry. If you signed up for the games, uh, we'll make sure to get your invites out first before we open up the lobby. So just hang tight. We'll be right back.